Alright, uh, welcome back to this series of videos on traditional versus implied characters. Last time we covered five strategies on how uh, characters were simplified. We're going to continue with this. So strategy number six would be a radical or component change. So for example, we have here, they changed this radical, meaning bone, to a uh, radical, meaning moon. Right, this uh, word is ong together, which means dirty. Uh, and then here they change the component here to a sim simpler one, uh, which still retains the sound, but it's uh, a lot simpler again. Geet meaning clean. And then we have ging. They completely changed the, the entire character. The sound component um, is the sound information is still retained in this component. Um, anyway, ging means uh, surprised, scared. Uh, strategy number seven would be a uh, form change with uh, meaning. So for example, uh, the character for body, Tai, they just change it com uh, completely with uh, to this character. Uh, and then there, there, there's a radical for person, and then there's a component for uh, Bun, which means base. Uh, and so the, the meaning of this is Yi Yan Wai Bun, with the human as a base. Apparently that is associated uh, with uh, well a body, and then sim in a similar way, tan, which means dust, is simplified to this character here. So um, this bit can be read as xiu and this bit as tou. Uh, I think they read it as xiu tou wai tan. So little uh, soil, small soil, finely grained soil is dust, which kind of makes sense. Strategy number eight would be uh, visual form simplification. So, for example, you can kind of see that they're a little bit similar, right? So this little bit, this dot on the top is similar. They retain this and this, and then they uh, replace this entire bit with uh, two like slanted strokes here, and then got rid of these two uh, horizontal lines. So it's a simplified visual representation of the original character. Tai, which means together. Being here, it's a similar thing. They kept this bottom bit here, they got rid of this, and then they changed this entire bit to this. So you can kind of still recognize the character to start with. B meaning uh, to, to change. And Tong kept this bit and simplified this bit, and sim uh, you can still kind of recognize it. Uh, tong, it uh, can mean many things, I'm not going to even try to explain it here. Um, Bo. So they kept this bit. Okay, and they just simplified the, the left bit. Still recognizable. Bo meaning to report, or maybe a newspaper. Uh, nay. So they kept the, the this bit, and then they changed this bit. Right. This is actually, uh, it could be a standalone character, and it would be simplified to this anyway. So they just stopped in this bit uh, with this particular character. Nay meaning to, I think to um, redeem, to fill in a gap. And uh, tune here, they got uh, they simplified the little uh, the bit inside here. Interestingly enough, this character standalone character does not simplify to this character, so it's not always uh, that kind of a replacement strategy. And strategy number nine, symbol replacements. So, for example, um, this two these two bits on the, the the left and right sides are replaced to simply with these two, by meaning to uh, to do some uh, job some kind. Uh, the this bit inside is simply uh, re uh, replaced with the cross here. Koi meaning area. Han here um, replaced. This bit is replaced with this. Han meaning uh, the Han kind of uh, tribe, I guess. And then C, this bit is represented by this bit simplified. C meaning teacher. And Zhou, which is a type of uh, I don't remember the English name, I'm sorry. The type of fruit. Plum, maybe? Uh, and then this bit is represented with two dots, which means, like I guess, a repeat of the top. And strategy number 10 is character substitution. So it's just entirely, uh, it's replaced with a new character. Gay, meaning uh, sum. De, mean as a classifier for many things, animals, and among many things. It's a very versatile classifier. 
Okay, so we're going to finish off this uh, series of videos in the next video, and we're, we're going to talk about why uh, I mentioned all of these simplification strategies.